In honor of Anne Williams, I'm pleased to present Williams Place, transitional housing dedicated to unstably housed veterans residing in Lane County. This project is a critical step in the path forward for veterans experiencing homelessness. St. Vincent de Paul is the largest human services provider in our area, so uh, we see the greatest amount of need being that largest provider. Being able to add 10 units doesn't sound significant, but it's incredibly important as it will serve uh, hundreds of families over the lifetime of this project, or hundreds of individuals in the lifetime of this project. In 2021, uh, Terry McDonald asked all the directors to do a five-year strategic plan of what you want to see for your department. And at that time, I was a bright, young, new director who had the honor to learn from Ann Williams for many years. And on that submission to Terry, I said, let's build an apartment complex after my boss in honor. Uh, here we are today. Uh, it's nice to have something that comes back, give back to the community, and continue the legacy of her doing that kind of good work for all of us. It is a tribute to her, but it's also a tribute to the community and the community of caring that we all represent. I just want to say thank you to uh, St. Vincent de Paul, uh, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, and the multitude of players at a municipal level, at a local level, from the nonprofit sector uh, to, to those who had a hand in design and construction and execution, thank you. This, this arrangement, this set of 10 housing units will be a game changer for those who sacrificed so much for our country. We're all better together. So when we all band together, it just makes the community better. It makes it makes the public better. And that's what we really want at LTD and at St. Vinny's as well. One thing special about this project um, was that I, I came out here at one point and the job superintendent, Scott, was saying that how excited uh, many of the subcontractors were to be working on this project specifically because it served veterans and many of them were veterans themselves. Um, so that was really exciting. We love working with Miley, we love working with their team, and it was extra special um, to have the people actually building this project feel even more connection because it served veterans. One of the things that say, sets St. St. Vincent de Paul apart is that we continually say yes. We don't say yes just because the project is easy or we've done it before or there's even a clear path forward, but we see the need and we have staff who show up every day who are so committed to the community, committed to the people that they serve, that they just continue to raise their hand and say yes even when it feels impossible.